For 45 years, the F-Series range of pickup trucks has sat atop the pickup truck sales charts in the US. Its most popular variant, the F-150, has dominated both pickup and car sales charts for more than 30 years. And today, I'm here in Dearborn, Michigan, home of the Ford Motor Company, to see the dawn of a brand new chapter in the Ford F-150 story, the first all-electric F-Series to roll off the production line. Right now, I'm still outside my hotel, the Henry Hotel, but just over the freeway behind that is Ford's head office. And not far from that, the Rouge Electric Vehicle Center, where I'll be visiting Ford's high-tech F-150 production line. Rouge has plenty of history. It's the oldest continuously operating automotive production line in the world. But today, gone are the conveyor belts of Henry Ford's day and in its place, autonomous robots driving everything from components to near complete trucks around the production facility. I'll get a chance to look around personally, but sadly, like most production facilities, the only cameras allowed inside are those which produce official B-roll. Sorry, Michael, but I'm about to go and get my first ride-along experience of the F-150. Sadly, we're unable to make the official press launch event in a few weeks' time, where Ford is letting journalists drive the F-150 Lightning. But disclaimer, as a reservation holder of the F-150 Lightning and someone whose truck is due to be built in just two weeks' time, in this very city, in fact, I'm happy to wait a little longer until mine arrives. I will also be chatting today to two people very much connected with the F-150 Lightning launch. Linda Zhang, Ford's F-150 nameplate engineer, and Darren Palmer, Vice President of Global EV Programs at Ford. We'll be releasing those as separate videos, so keep your eyes peeled for them in the next few days. But before all of that and my ride along, a quick reminder that if you like our special blend of content, we would all love it if you'd consider hitting subscribe and the notification bell, as well as checking your notification preferences for this very channel and telling your friends, family and colleagues about your favorite videos from this channel. And if you want to go one step further, just stick around until the end and I'll tell you the ways that you can help us to grow. Oh, and one final thing to note, with COVID-19 cases back on the rise here in the US, our entire team is following World Health Organization recommendations and masking when we are in enclosed spaces with others of unknown vaccine status or where proper physical distancing cannot be followed. We all know that masks on camera aren't ideal, but they do at least mean that we and the people we care about have a better chance of remaining healthy, even though we're all triple vaxxed. And with that, to the ride along. Hey Megan, good to meet you. Nice to meet you as I well. I like that you've got your little thing on your, uh... yeah. I do have a name tag, yes. Name so tag, that's the word. I am. <laughs> yes, for sure. So this is my first time being driven in an F-150. I've actually sat in one before in the Lightning. Oh, excellent. So you are one of the, the team here at Ford. Correct. Yes, I am. My official title is launch supervisor. So I'm in charge of making sure this launch goes cleanly and we get customers what they need and what they want out of this truck. Great. We are just about to enter into the closed course. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get a chance to drive this until mine comes off the production line, which is about three weeks time, but we're just about to do an acceleration test. So let's find out how fast it is. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's go. That is pretty quick for a full-size pickup truck. It's not, you know, gut-punching, but it is very fast. And if you consider that this is the fastest production F-150 currently in existence, in fact, that has ever existed, a lot of people are very upset about the name, but honestly, with that acceleration, that it's like gentle push towards the back of the seat. I think it is worthy of the Lightning name. Now, the other thing that's really very shocking is how quiet the interior of this truck is. Ford's done a really good job, both in terms of sound deadening, but also in terms of, I, I guess, modification to the front end of the truck. There doesn't appear to be a lot of wind noise. It feels very much like the Ford Mustang Marquis in terms of volume and quietness, 
And I've got to say, that's brilliant because it means that when you're on a long distance trip, you're not going to have that huge rumble that you associate with pickup trucks, whether it's a rumble of a diesel engine, a rumble of an internal combustion engine. My seat is very comfortable. There's plenty of space. All of the trim pieces look really lovely. This is a Lariat trim. And honestly, this just makes me want to get hold of the Transport Evolved truck as quickly as I possibly can. Thank you very much, Megan. This is a wonderful experience. I don't really want to get out because it's so comfortable, but thank you. Thank you very much for riding thank you. with me. That was an experience. It was a very short experience, but you know what? That's okay because I didn't expect to be driving it. I didn't expect to be going on a really long ride and they've got a lot of people to get through. So I'm just glad that I got to sit in the front passenger seat and experience the F-150 Lightning for the very first time. And it actually reinforced that I made the right decision to buy one. The build quality of this truck was exceptional. It was quiet. It didn't feel like a massive big pickup truck. And when it accelerated, it was definitely brisk. It wasn't pin you back in your seat, but almost pin you back in your seat. I definitely felt the acceleration. It is definitely faster than I've traveled in a pickup truck before. And I cannot wait to get behind the wheel in about a month and a half's time when ours finally arrives. I wish I could go to the launch event next week for journalists and actually drive it myself. But sadly, we are not able to make that one. So it's why we're here instead. So very quick. I wish I'd have had a chance to play with all the functions inside the cabin. But at least I know that good things are on the way. That's it for today. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave your thoughts below or in our free to join Discord chat room. There are links in the description. I will be back soon with more great content from this channel, as will the wonderful Kate Walton Elliott. And don't forget, if you want a generalized news roundup in the world of cleaner, greener, safer and smarter vehicles, you should totally check out our news roundup show every weekend. And don't forget that we do produce videos every single day on this network for you to enjoy, ranging from deep dives and features to tutorials, unboxings and reviews. If you haven't already, make sure you've subscribed to this channel and to our other channel, Transport Evolved Take Two, and you should give that bell a gentle ding to be made aware when our next video goes live. Thanks on behalf of the entire crew, go out to the folks on my right for being our 15 to $49 a month supporters. Special thanks to our $50 a month patrons, that's Chris Maxwell, Bennett Elder, Brian Newton, Dave Kitchen, Michael Goad, Ricky Leon, Andrew Martin, Guido Drahota, Brophy Wolf, Tesla in the Gong, Gordon C, Stephen O'Donoghue, Carl Hodgson, Anthony Coates, Ray Jean Fellows, Rory Litwin, Anonymous Freak, Jim Burness, Chris Asentar and Denny Hyde. And of course, our deepest gratitude to our one hundred dollar a month patreon supporters they make trips like this possible marcel ward reggie watts joe bresney jp fagerback will grayland matthew drobnak john lyons christopher lee jones andrew glenn paul conway laura reynolds ellery hensley and last but definitely not least ian if you would like to be part of the amazing family here at te you can join patreon at the link below you can hit the join button to support us on youtube or you can show your support through ko-fi or by buying some swag from our cool swag store and if you are unable to support us financially just know that watching the video and sharing it really does make a massive difference to the channel and of course thank you to ford for inviting us here today it is very cold, but I'm very glad I got to experience the F-150 Lightning as a passenger for the very first time. Thanks for joining me and as always, keep evolving.